hello everyone welcome to this channel biozy and today we are going to take up this question that have come in need 2022 exam the question says that in an e coli strain i gene gets mutated and its product cannot bound, bind the inducer molecule if growth medium is provided with the lactose what will be the outcome so first of all know that this inducer molecule is itself lactose only and there is mutation in the i gene so if we talk about the lac operon it somewhat looks like this So it consists of basically P gene here, I gene here, then there is one P gene here, O gene here and we have a structural gene namely Z, Y and A. So here what happens normally that this I gene is the one that is responsible for uh, formation of an mRNA that codes for a repressor. So let's say this is the repressor here. Now this repressor once formed, it can bind to the operator region. And if the repressor is binding to the operator region, it will no longer allow the binding of RNA polymerase enzyme to this promoter region. So RNA polymerases no longer will be able to bind to the promoter region and if it no longer will be able to bind to the promoter region, how it is going to initiate the transcription or translation of the ZYA gene. So in the presence of repressor, RNA polymerase won't be able to bind to the P gene and the transcription and translation of these structural genes ZY and A which are required for the metabolism of the lactose will no longer be there. Okay, now what happens in the presence of the inducer molecule that is lactose? If there is presence of lactose, let's say this is lactose. This lactose, if it is present, it goes and binds to this repressor. And if it binds to the repressor, it changes its shape. It brings about a conformational change in its uh, shape. So if conformational change is coming here, this repressor will no longer will be able to bind to the operator region. And if it is not no longer binding to the operator region, so now RNA polymerase will be able to bind to the promoter region. And if RNA polymerase will be binding to the promoter region, it will initiate the transcription of that Y and A gene. So it will lead to the formation of their respective mRNA and they will form their own products the enzymes which are required for the metabolism of the lactose so they will be forming now according to the this is the basic lac operon concept now according to the question what is given in the question the IGN has get mutated in such a manner that is forming its product the product is getting formed but it is no longer will be able to bind to the inducer molecule inducer was lactose so still the lactose uh, uh, the inducer molecule will be able to form is uh, uh, repressor but the repressor is a different repressor let's say this is the repressor now and since it is a different repressor our lactose which was earlier binding now it is no longer uh, no longer will be able to bind to the repressor molecule so if there is no uh, lactose that will be able to bind to this repressor the repressor is not changing its shape and this repressor will no now go and bind to the operator region it will go and bind to the operator region and when it will go and bind to the operator region what is going to happen again the rna polymerase will not be able to bind to the promoter and because of this the zya that were the that were the structural genes and forming their own uh, products they will no longer will be able to transcript or transcribe and transcribe or translate so there will be no formation of or no transcription or translation of the Z, Y and A gene. So the correct answer would be Z, Y and A gene will not be translated. 